Okay, directional terms we'll talk about today are medial and lateral and answer the questions, what are the definitions for medial and lateral and what ways are they used in anatomy? Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Morton and I'm the noted anatomist. So first of all, the word medial means towards the midline and the word lateral means towards the side. Now let's see how these are used in anatomy. In anatomical positions, the thumbs point laterally, they point away. Now the little finger, your pinky, is medial in anatomical position. How about the nose is blank to the ears? The nose is towards the midline, so we say the nose is medial to the ears. How about if we call this muscle of your quads the vastus lateralis, what do we call this one? Well, vastus means big and lateralis means to the side, so we then call this one the vastus medialis, the really big muscle on the medial surface of the thigh. How about the ears are blank to the nose? Well, they're to the side, so the ears are lateral to the nose. And then how about this? That is our lateral rectus muscle. What do we call this one? Well, rectus means straight, so this is the medial rectus muscle or the straight muscle on the medial side of the eye. And here we have one more. They call this one the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm. What do they call this one? Well, it is the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm because it is on the medial surface of the forearm providing cutaneous sensation. And that, my friends, are the terms medial and lateral in a nutshell.